I always keep such a clothespin in the shower. I attach it to the shower head or the shower door. It has a brilliant application that most people don't know about. Friends laughed at me when they saw clothespins in my shower, but when they learned the reason, they started doing it themselves. Thanks to them, a regular shower gains new functions. You can attach it to the shower head or on the side glass doors. It's important for the clothespins to be wooden. They must be made of absorbent material. That's why plastic clothespins won't work. Prepare about three such clothespins. Then take natural essential oil. I recommend eucalyptus oil. It's known for its antiseptic, antibacterial, and anti-inflammatory properties. It also has a warming and stimulating effect. Used in aromatherapy, it helps alleviate symptoms of colds, coughs, and respiratory infections. It facilitates breathing. Just generously sprinkle the clothespins with it. Then, attach them under the shower. It's important that they're in places where steam is generated. It will be the carrier of this scent throughout the shower cabin. A morning shower will also be an aromatherapy session thanks to them. This cheap and simple trick is brilliant. A day started with such a bath is immediately much more enjoyable. Depending on preferences, you can change the oils. I recommend an evening shower with lavender oils. They have a calming effect and facilitate falling asleep. My apartment smells so beautifully that you can even smell it in the hallway. It's a scent of cleanliness and flowers. No store-bought diffuser is as effective. Want your home to smell exceptionally beautiful too? All you need is one small container. Pour ordinary baking soda into it. Add two tablespoons of these little balls. They are scented laundry pearls. They have an extraordinary aroma. Mix them with the soda in the container. Take some baby oil and pour two tablespoons into the container. Mix everything again. The oil will activate the pearls and release their scent. Now you can add another ingredient. If you have your favorite essential oil, you can add a few drops to your homemade diffuser. But you can also add a few cloves instead, place them on top, or arrange them in a circle as I do. A few pieces are enough. Finally, add the sticks. Now, the whole thing looks beautiful. You can place such a diffuser anywhere you like. You'll feel like you're in a real spa. You'll always have a fragrant home. When the diffuser stops working, just make another one. Its cost is not high, but the effect is amazing. I have a clever trick for you regarding bathroom cleaning. It's something extraordinary. It involves a simple candle. I'm in a new bathroom, and as you can see, we have a lot of tiles here. And where there are tiles, there are grout lines. Lots of grout lines. On the walls and on the floor. If you also have such a bathroom at home, then this video is for you. I used to spend entire weekends cleaning all these grout lines. But not anymore, thanks to this simple trick, which turned out to be the best thing I've discovered recently. I like burning candles in the bathroom, so here's a simple trick you can do with it. Take a candle, preferably white. I don't recommend red or any intense color. By using this trick, you'll save a lot of time. The candle has a rim at the end. See what happens when you press it against the grout. All you have to do is rub the grout with this end of the candle. A layer of wax will remain on the grout sealing it tightly. The candle creates a hydrophobic coating. It repels water. As a result, mold, which likes to settle there, won't be able to penetrate the cement. Do it carefully. Cover the entire grout line with a thin layer of wax. I can't believe I've never done this before. Now, I'll cover all these grout lines with a candle. I'll spend more time on it this time. As a result, I won't have to clean them so often later. There will be no mold. Dirt won't penetrate the grout. They'll be clean and, above all, white for a very long time. So, wipe the grout with a candle in the bathroom, and you'll also achieve this amazing effect. Hydraulics, don't talk about it. Just two ingredients are enough to get rid of the annoying problem. Take a bar of ordinary soap. It should weigh around 150 grams. It's good if it has a pleasant scent. Grate it on a grater with large holes. Soap has many properties, but I'm sure you don't know about this one yet. This recipe is its secret function. After grating, soap flakes will be formed. 
They have strong cleansing and antibacterial properties. Transfer the grated soap to a pot. Measure out 150 milliliters of floor cleaning liquid. Pour it into the pot and mix everything. Turn on the heat and constantly stir until the soap melts. Make sure no lumps form. When a uniform mass is formed, remove the pot from the stove. Prepare a rectangular container. Line its bottom with plastic wrap. Do this carefully. Also, cover the sides of the container with the wrap. When the mixture cools slightly, pour it into the container. Leave it overnight. During this time, it will solidify and acquire extraordinary properties. Remove the bar from the box by pulling on the wrap. Then, using a knife, cut it into one centimeter strips. Transfer them to a plastic container and take them to the bathroom. These two ingredients, combined, have disinfecting, cleaning, and adhesive properties. This makes them self-adhesive cubes that clean the toilet. Just apply them to the bottom of the toilet bowl. They won't come off when flushing. Water causes them to release active foam, which cleans the toilet with every flush. Not only do they smell good, but they also disinfect the toilet. Thanks to them, the toilet shines with cleanliness all the time, not just on cleaning day. The yellow stains on the toilet seat will disappear within minutes. The toilet will be white again without using harmful detergents. Do you have such stains on the underside of the seat? Many people struggle to remove them. They form due to the deposition of urine and water droplets during flushing. Urine stains the seat, and the lime scale formed by the water can initially be invisible, then gradually take on a slightly yellowish color. If you clean the toilet and seat with strong detergents, its surface may be damaged and more susceptible to various stains. But there's a trick to it. Just make a homemade paste. The stains and discolorations will vanish. The toilet will be white again. This method saves me in such situations. I don't have to replace the seat with a new one yet. Take baking soda and pour it into a container. Add some hydrogen peroxide to it, just enough to create a paste. Mix it. It's best to use an old toothbrush for this. It's perfect for applying this substance to stains. The baking soda and hydrogen peroxide paste should be thick enough to stick to the stains. Leave it on the toilet for about 10 minutes. During this time, the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide will dissolve the stains. Then just remove everything, wipe it with paper, and you're done. Dip a twig in it and spray the bathroom. The silverfish will disappear as if by magic wand after just one night. It's a home remedy for small bugs that appear out of nowhere in the bathroom. These insects don't have wings. You can most often find them in the bathroom, especially at night. They feed on scraps left in bathrooms. It's moist enough there for them to live and reproduce. Silverfish aren't harmful, they don't bite, and they don't carry any diseases. However, they're not welcome and disgust many people, but you don't have to buy expensive and toxic silverfish killers. Just make a homomadi spray to get rid of. These bugs from the bathroom once and for all. The corners and nooks sprayed with it will be an impassable barrier. Such a spray will repel them. They won't show up in the bathroom anymore. Pour vinegar into a pot and heat it. Most insects can't stand the smell of vinegar. They avoid it like the plague. Put a sprig of rosemary in the vinegar. The scent of rosemary repels insects. It also works on silverfish. Add a few drops of lavender oil to the mixture. Such a remedy won't kill the silverfish, but it will effectively repel them. It's completely safe. You can also use it in the kitchen. Its scent will dissipate. So use such a spray every few days. You'll quickly get rid of the silverfish.